morning, scholars, and welcome to Read Alouds with Miss Castle. I am so excited that you are here with me today. Yesterday, we started our new author for our author study, and we're going to learn more facts about him today. So, before we begin, there's three things I want you to do. Three. First, try to remember, what's his name? Next thing I want you to do is get out a pencil and a paper, because we are going to be drawing today. I'm going to be drawing, you're going to be drawing, and the person we learned about yesterday is going to be drawing. And I want to see how great our drawings are. So get a pencil, paper, and think about who is the author and illustrator that we learned about yesterday. Grab those things and come along with me. Okay, scholars, please remind me who is the author that we learned about yesterday. Who is the author that we learned about yesterday? His name was, yes, Mo Willems. Awesome, our scholars remembering his name is Mo Willems. Today we're going to be able to draw, or what Mo calls it as doodle together. He says, let's doodle together. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doodling with Mo. Before anything though, I have one thing I want you to remember. Is he an author? an illustrator or both? We talked about it yesterday. Is he an author or illustrator or both? Yes, he is both. He draws the pictures and he writes the stories. And today, we're going to meet him and get to draw with him. So use your pencil and your paper or even a marker or crayon will work too. And come along and draw. I cannot wait to show you what mine looks like after we're done too. Enjoy. All right, so. We have our drawing paper, top to bottom, like this tall. We're going to draw a pigeon. Now, a pigeon is a cartoon. It's not a doodle. It's a drawing. So there's kind of a right way to do it. And a cartoon is easy. It's just a bunch of shapes put together in the right order. Kind of like writing your name is just a bunch of letters put together in the right order. And uh, every time you're writing your name, you're making a cartoon. So, let's start at the top of our page with a big letter O. Letter O, like in the word Mo. Have you done your letter O? Yeah, okay. Draw another letter O on the inside of that. Now it looks like a donut. Okay. Now is the most important part of the drawing, where the eye goes. Because the eye is the window to the soul if I'm drawing a character. It's got a big smile. But really sad eyes. Like that, I guess. They're still sad. So, you put it in the middle, he's freaked out. You put it down, he's sad. I'm gonna put mine up, because I'm gonna make him cheeky today. Darken it in. Why am I darkening it in? Well, you always look at the darkest part of a drawing first. It's the most important part, and since the eye is the most important part, I want you to see that first. Now we're going to do the letter M or the letter O, letter M, sideways, and you have a beak. <laughs> All right. You ready? Two lines going down. I'm going to make funny sounds. Ready? Did you say a up? Pretty sure you did. All right. Let's do the two across for the collar. Now, you've come to my favorite shape because I invented it. It's the Mo Willems patented circangle. Now, a circangle is a circle that halfway through its life decides to become a triangle. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I'm a circle, I'm a circle, I'm a circle. Oh, it's so good to be a circle. I think I'd rather be a triangle. Boop. And it kind of looks like an ice cream cone, which is cool, that fell on the ground, which is sad, which grew a pigeon head, which is weird. All right, I'm going to do two more down here. The pigeon has legs. Okay, do three V's. Let's say va, va, voom. The first one goes sideways. Letter V, va. Letter V, va. Letter V, voom. It's starting to look like a pigeon. Now, are we done? No. We've got to make sure we write our name so that everybody knows that we drew it. And for me, today, I'm going to stamp it. My old library stamp it says, March 16th, 2002. 
All right. Can I see your pigeons? Let me see your pigeons. Hold them up. Let me put on my glasses. I go, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, yours doesn't look exactly like mine, does it? No, it's maybe your head is a little bigger or the legs are longer, but that's all cool because that means you were drawing in your own personal drawing style. Well, this is the it for us doodling together pretty much today. Oh, I had the best time drawing with Mo. Did you? Oh, I am so, so glad that you did. How did your picture turn out? Can I see it? Let me see. Oh, whoa. Those look so, so good. Let me get my glasses so I can see them a little bit better. Let me see. Whoa. Your illustrations look just like his. My mind is blown. That looks so, so good, Scholars. Way to go. Do you want to see what mine looked like? Here it is. Here's my pigeon. I followed his steps. I added the V's like va va boom. I added the M W like the beak. I made his eyes super big and excited. And then I signed my name at the very end, Castle, and I drew a castle with it as well. Did you sign your name? Remember, Mo wants you to always remember, do not forget your name. On all of his illustrations, he puts his name too. Which picture did we draw today? There are three pictures on our board. Which picture did we draw? Did we draw pigeon flapping? No. Did we draw elephant and piggy? No. You're correct. We just drew the pigeon together. Very excited about that, scholars. Today in our story, our character is going to feel very confident. Say confident. Yes. What does it mean to be confident? Mm hmm. Yes. To be confident is to believe in yourself. You are confident when you think you're going to do something and you're going to do it correctly. You are very confident that what you're doing is right and you believe you're going to be doing what you want to do. And that is being confident. I have a sentence to help you have a better idea of what confident means. I am confident that I read the page of the book with no mistakes. So I was in my read aloud group and I was reading my page and I was so confident that I made no mistakes. I believed in myself and I knew that I read that page perfectly with no mistakes because I was confident in myself. So in our story today, our character or one of our characters is going to be very confident. When we read our story, there's a couple things I want you to do. I want you to think of who are the main characters. Where is the setting? So remember, the setting is where the story takes place. Then I want you to predict what is going to happen to the characters in the story. Remember, when we predict is what we think is going to happen. Think, think, think. What do you think is going to happen? And when we do our story, I'm going to pause the, I'm going to pause it and let you think and predict what you think is going to happen next. And we're going to figure out if our predictions are correct. You ready to see what our story is going to be today? It is going to be, that is not a good idea. That is not a good idea. Here is my book. The back says, thrills, drama, dinner. Can he outfox her or will her goose be cooked? And then at the bottom, there's these little chicks. And in the book, the chicks like to do lots of warnings. They said, I can't wait. I can't watch. Gasp. <gasps> Let's enjoy the story. That is not a good idea by Mo Willems. That is not a good idea. One day, a very hungry fox meets a very plump goose. A dinner invitation is offered. Will dinner go as planned? Or do the dinner plans involve a secret ingredient? Don't forget to listen to the baby geese. Hmm? What luck! Dinner! Excuse me, would you care to go for a stroll? Sure. That is not a good idea. Would you care to continue our walk into the deep dark woods? Do -do 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 -do. Mm. Sounds fun. 
That is really not a good idea. Would you care to visit my nearby kitchen? Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, I would love to. That is really, really not a good idea. Ah! Would you care to boil some water for soup? Do -do 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 -do. Scholars, which character is being confident? And how do you know? Mmm, yum. Certainly, I do love soup. Mmm, that is really, really, really not a good idea. Would you care to look at my soup? A key ingredient is missing. <laughs> ah, that is really, 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 really not a good idea. Mmm. Oh, a key ingredient is missing. Scholars, let's predict. What do we think is going to happen next in the story? Splash! Oh my! Whoop! Toss! You! <laughs> well, we did try to warn him! More soup, children? The end. The end. That is, that is not a good idea. I did not predict that was how the ending was going to go. Scholar, what was your prediction that was going to happen next? Did you get your prediction correct? I certainly didn't. I for sure thought that the fox was being super sneaky because he was acting so confident in himself that he was going to be the one to eat the goose. I had no idea that the goose was going to eat the fox instead. Talk about a plot twist. My prediction was wrong, but I bet some of your predictions were correct because I know you guys are super smart when it comes to making good predictions. Who are our two main characters in our story? Yes, fox and goose. If you said the chicks, those are also characters in our story, but they didn't have a big role other than saying, that is really, really, really not a good idea. So it was mainly just goose and wolf. Where was the main setting of the story? So remember, setting is where the story takes place. At the beginning, they did start in the city, but then where was the setting, the majority of the story? You're right, it was in the woods. So they went into the woods, and they went to go find a kitchen in the woods. And that's where everything happens. Well, scholars, that was the end of That Is Not A Good Idea. I want you to click the link below. And I want to see, did you get your predictions correct or not? I cannot wait to see what your answers were for our story. Have a great rest of the day. And tomorrow, we're going to be reading an elephant and piggy book. And I'm going to bring some co a couple friends with me, too. So I cannot wait to introduce you to my two friends tomorrow. Goodbye, scholars.